Yes, this movie has an absolutely stupid name, The Last Exorcism 2, but if you can get over that, it's actually quite a good, bad horror movie. So if you've seen Evil Dead 1, it's actually, it's one of them found footage type movies where a girl seems to be possessed and a guy tries to release that demon from her. I actually quite liked it up until the very ending when there's a huge big plume of smoke and it turns into... If you've seen the first movie, you know what I'm talking about. I won't spoil it for you, but it's it's a real Gandalf moment. And then the second one sees the girl, Nell Sweetser is her name, come back and try and rebuild her life. And she goes to this boarding home with a load of other girls to try and live a normal life and forget about the shit that happened in the first one. Whatever you're running from, I'll find you here. So are you from Colton in the Woods or something? And that's really as far as the plot as you kind of need to know. It's, oh, oh, oh my god. It's just, <laughs> it's one of those movies where you're literally laughing at how seriously everybody is taking something that is clearly hilarious. Like a telephone ringing and she unplugs the telephone and it still rings! Hello? Hello? I found you. Oh my god, the devil has taken over control of my network, you know, oh, it's so scary. And the amount of jump scares. <laughs> so many silly, silly, like, look, for instance, okay, I'm over here now. There's a clear gap where, like, there's nothing. So there was lots of, like, she's over this side of the camera, and there's nothing here, and it's silence, and all of a sudden, <laughs> there's a person there. It's really, really obvious and shit. Unfortunately, they don't know that they're shit. It was only made for five million, and it's already grossed 16 million, so it's kind of like the paranormal activity, or the open water of movies. They make it for a fuck all amount, and then, no matter if fuck all people go to see it, they still make a profit, so they make more, and unfortunately, paranormal activity has gone on to make more and more and more. Hopefully, they won't do it with this. The Last Exorcism nine <laughs> the love interest in this was fucking wrecking my head because I saw him he looks like this right now where is that actor from do you do you know because I spent half of the film going where the fuck is he from I know his face you leave the comments where he's from because it wrecked my head I want your head to be wrecked uh, but he's terrible as well everybody's really terrible in this movie but if you want to be entertained and you want to pass some time it fucking whizzes by it's entertaining it's silly and stupid and really badly done but I definitely give it like a 7 out of 10 just because you know fair play to you you made a movie uh, and it's entertaining it's shit but it's entertaining you could have gone the dark skies sinister type route where they're trying so hard to be fucking scary and they're not but this whizzes along the ending is fucking stupid but that's okay it's entertaining it's not gonna be a great horror movie but fuck it go out and see it just for the crack now just before i go if you're wondering where i've been for a while i was making a television show yeah so we have four episodes of the show called rammed with me and two others and it's fucking deadly I really liked it some of the skits i've always wanted to do in real life there's links in your screen somewhere uh, for the full episodes and clips if you want to have a look at them and hopefully we get a season two and I can do even more and if we do I'll share them with you for all you people not in Ireland and things like that so yeah so that's all for me I'll see you next time and good luck